taxpayer dollars wasted? Not on his watch. Aiden Your Side's Mark Douglas is making sure your hard-earned money isn't going down the drain because you paid for it. Hermine dumped tons of heavy rain on the Bay Area last week, flooding parts of Pinellas County. But for the sewers and the drainage systems, it was way too much. St. Petersburg taxpayers have spent a fortune on sewers and drainage through stormwater fees and the penny for Pinellas tax. But now these same taxpayers have good reason to question what they paid for. Tonight, Mark's on it because you paid for it. Keith, if you live in St. Petersburg, you've paid hundreds of millions of dollars over the years for the right to stay dry in your home, drive on dry streets, and to flush your toilet while having to worry about it going into Tampa Bay. Now, you paid for it all right, but what did you get for all of that money? It was all the way up. Robert Stewart is sick and tired of soggy parks, streets, and neighborhoods in the city he's called home for 55 years. And how long has it been flooding? All the time. Stewart spent 27 years on patrol here as a street cop. It's unsafe. You drive through some of the places where the, uh, there's impressions in the roads. The flooding we witnessed last week is nothing new to him, especially around Lake Megory. You pay a stormwater fee every single month. What does that buy you? Well, it looks like we're not buying too much. We'd like to find out what we are paying for. What we get for that, that six dollars or seven dollars we pay, and plus the penny for, for, for Pinellas. And so would we. The penny sales tax raised nearly half a billion dollars since 1990. Most of it spent on flashy projects instead of sewage and drainage. You don't get to put your name on it. You don't have a rip, fancy ribbon cutting. We estimate the stormwater fee alone has raised about 200 million dollars over 25 years, and that's exclusively for drainage work. What has that bought them? Yeah, I, in, in a lot of cases, it's, it's all it's bought them is the system being maintained at the level it was at. It's an honest response. Obviously, we're not staying above water right now. But the wrong one for homeowners like Daphne Davis. We need someone to come out, open the drainage system, and get this resolved. Here at the Davis home, they can't even open the front door wide enough to let in guests. And the floor is buckling because of all the water that's still underneath their house. Should somebody be fired for allowing things to get to this point? You know, I, the, the, uh, it got to this point from, from a lot of years of, in some ways, inaction, uh, different priorities that different administrations had. Mayor Kreisman tells me it's near the top of his list now. But first up is a $58 million fix for the city's overloaded sewage system. You know, the one that just dumped 20 million gallons into Tampa Bay. The mayor says the city needs to come up with a master plan for drainage that takes into account climate change and then find a way to pay for that. You know, you can put up with a lot as a taxpayer. <laughs> you know, sure the storm do. fees, you pay that. The penny for Pinellas, you pay that. But, I mean, when sewer starts coming, there's a line, and this is it. It sounds like you may even have another because you paid for it coming up with oh, this new Oh, you, you can bet on that, Keith. The mayor is already saying it's going to be painful, and he says that yeah. city taxpayers can't do it alone. He's going to need state help. He's going to be asking the legislature this year, also federal help. But at the end of the day, it's the citizens of St. Petersburg are going to pay for it twice. It's the basics. It's that simple. Thank you, Mark.